Hi, this is Enthusiastic Steve. Now, not sure what's going to shock you the most, the video or the fact I've kept it short today. Now, as most of you know, I do like going mobile or out portable with the radios. Amateur radio, CB radio, any form of communication, I like to try and get out and about. I enjoy getting up on the hilltops, uh, going portable, either with an aerial on top of the car or uh, on a tripod mount. Especially when it's such a, a lovely day to be out. I use my trusty old Alpha, though some on here call it my rusty old Alpha, and have uh, permanent mounts and mag mounts on the roof for various antennas. I've wired up uh, like plug and play power systems so I can operate various radios from the actual dashboard. Just plug them in, plug the antenna in and away you go. When not operating from the car, you can find me out portable with a little portable table, deck chair, portable power supply and running from a uh, portable antenna. So let's start talking about this uh, shocking, uh, shocking experience I had. Now, I go out and about in all weathers. Uh, the rain doesn't put me off. Um, you know, I normally go out and about and it's been stormy conditions. Never been out in a thunderstorm and I wouldn't like to go out in a thunderstorm. But I came close to it just last week. Now, like many, I do prefer to go out when conditions are nice, warm, sunny, not too cold, not too windy. But I will venture out in, uh, you know, if the weather's looking a little bit uh, on the damp side, as long as it's not too windy. Though I have been out, as you can see here, in uh, pretty stormy conditions. This is down by the Solent, looking across. And I was part actually quite close to the seafront. And uh, the salt water was actually spraying over the car. Conditions was very rough indeed in the Solent area. Persistent heavy rain doesn't put me off. As long as I can get the antenna up and it's safe to stay up, I'll go ahead and operate uh, mobile. And it was precisely this what I was doing last week. Um, the weather conditions looked a little bit showery. But nothing too stormy at that particular moment. As you can see from this picture here, the clouds were building as I left home. I was using a, an antenna, a K40, on a mag mount on top of the car, and it all appeared to be good. But then these really heavy shower clouds appeared. Very angry indeed. At this particular time, I was operating on 11 meter band. It was during this I discovered this. Watch this video, guys. It's shocking. Right, guys. Right, this is scary. Listen to this. That is static electricity in the air shortened out within the coax cable, the coax connector. Being very careful how I'll pick this up because I've got a belt off it just now. There's a bit of a storm going overhead. There's no sound. I can't hear any lightning. But there must be a, a static discharge or something going on above us. Because this cable, I've never heard this before, it's going off like a, a Geiger counter. I think if it was dark, you'd probably be seeing flashes now coming from within it. Right, I'm going to very carefully put this thing down now because I'll dare touch the end of it. There's quite a voltage going through there. When I returned home, I did actually check out the weather radar and there had actually been three um, recorded or detected lightning bolts um, somewhere up there in the clouds, cloud to cloud not to the ground within a five or ten mile radius of my location so the actual clouds were very heavily charged the heavy rain and hailstones uh, continued for at least another 10 minutes all the time the static was uh, jumping across the coax cable Now I think myself very lucky that um, no damage was actually done to my radio or antenna. 
I did check them out when I returned home and all appeared to be okay. So just be careful if you're out and about and the weather turns a little bit nasty, um, get those antennas disconnected. All the best from Enthusiastic Steve. Uh, take care. See you again soon.